and we're back. Hello, I'm Mr. Rebel. This is more uh, Shadows Over Loathing. The front door of Dolphin Manor is unlocked. Apparently, Mr. Dolphin's love of padlocks was unrelated to basic home security. I'm going to start at one end of the house and move down from there. The entire family all died of natural causes, by the way. Dolphins use one toilet at a time, just like the rest of us. Doesn't work. Maybe there's something wrong in the tank. There is a key in the tank. Flush it. Flushy, flushy. Medicine cabinet security locked. Maybe it's full of deadly poison. Wait, this bathroom is full of steaming blood. Oh, no, wait. It's just light coming from a stained glass rose hanging in the bathroom window. It doesn't explain why the water is still hot, though. Well, the guy did say he gets homesick. Maybe he comes back and have a bath every once in a while. Handful of dirty water. Love that dirty water. Which I assume is referring to alcohol, but I could be wrong. Nasty goo. Nasty goo. Natural causes, natural causes, natural causes, etc., etc. Ooh, I got a key. Oh, second floor hallway. I want to explore the. F I want to explore the full first floor before I start wandering around on the second. That makes sense to me. Basement of the swamp house is predictably completely flooded. You'll need to find some breathing apparatus if you want to go there. I never found a breathing apparatus, so there were a couple of quests I couldn't com complete. It's one of those serving carts in posh hotels and posh manor homes, apparently. With a big silver platter covered with a dome-shaped lid. Just the right size to hide a severed head or a roast of some kind. You cautiously reach out to grip the handle and take a deep breath. Slowly lift the lid, tilting your head to reveal underneath... Oh, it's empty. Oh well. Enough fine china to feed an army if you get past the padlock and we're in charge of the world's hoitiest, toitiest, hoity toitiest military. There's a lock on a fridge. The humidity has turned most of these dry goods into stale goods. I got a can of fruit cocktail. One of those old fridges people got accidentally locked into and asphyxiated. Oh wait, that's all fridges these days. Maybe that's why it's padlocked. The fridge is empty of both expired food and expired hide and seekers. You do find a key inexplicably hidden in a bowl of, in a block of ice. The oven is full of gross, steamy swamp worms. Ugh. There are many drawers. Rifle through them. Ooh, and a padlock. Heck yeah. What about the sink? Well, let's find out. Fish in a sack. Oh, this is just a fish skeleton, but hey, it gets added to the fish sack. Could be some kind of lo lands of loathing bonefish. Handful of clean water. That'll put me out if I'm on fire. Fish in a sack. Alright, I'm good to go. Heading back to the bathroom real quick. Because this key in a block of ice goes in the bathtub. Drop in the frozen key, the warm water, the warm bath causes the ice to relax and it drops the key with a grateful sigh. Is that how that works? Ice cubes, how do they work? Door's padlocked. Door's padlocked. This door's open. There's a padlock on here. This nightstand has one empty drawer and one locked drawer. An eerie, ghostly sound is coming from it. The toy box is disappearing. Is disappointingly empty. Not even a BB gun or a creepy doll. Maybe the doll's hiding somewhere. Comfortable looking bed. Free of bloodstains or vaguely person shaped lumps under the blanket. Check the pillow. I got a shiny key. Book shelf full of books about sports. The titles are too boring for me even to tell you what they are. Nothing's hiding under the bed except dust. I don't know. Some dust can be very dangerous. Remember the opening of the game? Some dirt in a planter. Padlocked. Padlock. Fancy nightstand. I got another key. Padlock key. The bed looks inviting, but no one seems to have really accepted the invitation for quite some time. Yeah, I didn't think the key would be in the same room as the lock it goes to. I got radium rouge. The convenient thing about products with radium is radium in them is they're easy to find in the darkness of the coffin they'll put you eventually put you in. Oh yeah. There's really dark and ugly history of radioactive products. Up to and including good god jock straps. 
workbench distributors, bits of gizmos, and uh, gizmos and bits of gizmos. Along that, you find a miniature radio carved from grid driftwood. Radio is small enough to carry. Amazing. Maybe if you listen to it periodically, it'll warn you about any monsters that are actually manifestations of repressed traumas. Silent Hill. Or it'll just give you the baseball scores. You hold the radio up to your ear. A boy's voice asks, Gee, Pop, where do you get all this treasure? Is it cursed pirate hoard stolen from the ruins of an ancient civilization? <laughs> no, son, nothing like that. Just sound investments in perfectly normal and moral financial markets. Yeah, this... this all, all the horror ghost story tropes... But uh, they're just mundane little vignettes. Hold the radio up to here. A little girl shouting, Mom, Mom, a terrible ghoul stole the key to my nightstand. The, the mother replies, Now, dear, don't call your brother Ralphie a terrible ghoul. He probably hid the key in the potted plant in the hallway like he always does. Good dog. Look inside. Nightstand. I got a creepy music box. Does your moxie and spooky damage to all combatants once per fight. Work pants. Ooh, I got a coat hanger. Good for me. Oh, alrighty. How many keys do I how many padlocks do I have now? Six. Six out of eleven. Good lord. That's not gonna be. I don't have that key yet. I've opened everything in here. Huh? Basement. Stairs. I don't think there was anything locked left in the bathroom. Oh, yes, there was. Unlock it. Covered padlock, rhino balm, and a ch anti poison charcoal briquette. Always good to have. <coughs> Excuse me. This door is padlocked. How dare you, son? Jimmy, it open. Oh, I got a padlock key, and it's tarnished. I have gotten so many locks. We see the most powerful tool is a padlock. Really the opposite tool, because it opposite of a tool though, because it obstructs rather than facilitates what you're trying to do. These center blocks are totally waterlogged. I got glowing ooze. Workbench covered with tools. All rusted to the point of usefulness, even as bludgeons. I have seven or eight keys. Um oh, locks. I'm not looking for keys, I'm looking for locks. Alright. You hold the radio here. Clarence, I'm so... A woman's voice is, Clarence, I'm so grateful our family has never suffered from any supernatural curses, serial murder, demonic corruption, or plague. I agree, dear. We have certainly been fortunate and doubtless will remain so. Now I just have to use the radio in every room. Ah, uh, hold the radio to here. Now remember, Ralphie, a woman's voice says, you mustn't ever, ever open the door to strangers. Uh, okay, Mom, because it might be a kidnapper or a murderer. Oh, I'm sure that would never happen, but it might be a vacuum sale cleaner salesman. We already have one. Woman's uh, voice saying, uh, Be careful around the kitchen knives, Rebecca. They're very sharp. I keep them in here because counterintuitive may be, dull knives cause more accidents. Yes, Mother, I understand. Is this the basement? Yeah, that's the basement. That's the second floor. All right. Ralphie, why on earth or you hold the phone here? Ralphie, why on earth do you keep flushing the fish zester down the commode? Have you been possessed by another worldly demonic force? No, Dad, I just thought it would be a funny place to hide it. Okay, so I can't get me a fish zester. I feel cheated. Ghoul terrible ghoul taking the key to my room. Key to my room. Okay. You're an old man's voice calling. Agnes, you're obsessed. Obsessed with taping things to the back of paintings, just like your aunt, old one-eyed Salcalperna dolphin. You'll probably die peacefully in your sleep, just like she did. Wait, do I have a key to this thing? No. But I'm about to find one. We already heard this one. Who stole my golden arm? And the boy's voice says, Come on, sis, don't you know any other ghost stories? That's the only one you ever tell. Stairs. One-eyed, whatever, Lady Dolphin. It's a sticky key. Ew, it's stick key. Take the stairs. There's not many locks left. 
There we go. Go. So is that the key to the pantry down the stairs with the all the plates and things in it? I didn't mean to go there. Heard that one. Take the stairs. Do -de -do -do -de -do -do -de -do -de -do do No, huh? I gotta find me another lock. Hold on, I'll resume when I've found it. It was in the garage. Nine out of ten. Was there eleven? Ugh. Unlock it. Oh, great. You open the cabinet and examine the stacks of fine bone china. Wait, bone china? Perhaps human bone china? No, the brand mark on the bottom is a pretty well-known company, so probably not. Alright. I got ten padlocks and no more keys. So, where's that last key I gotta locate? Oh well, I'll find it. Hold on. You hold the radio up to your ear. A woman gasps. Oh, my clones, why are you lying on the floor under your workbench? Are you alright? Were you attacked by a burglar or an axe murderer? Uh, calm down, Agnes. I'm fine. I'm just ch practicing changing the oil in our car. Wait a second. Is this the bench the woman on the radio was talking about? Uh, I got a key. Okay, we're good. We're done here as soon as I go upstairs and get that last key. Get that last lock. There we go. Unlock it. Perfumed wedding veil. Plus one moxie, plus three stench armor. Wait, did I look in that cab in this thing? Look in the mirror. There we go. Five XP. Vanity pays off. I now have all the locks. So there's no point in hanging around here no more. Herk, 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 herk. I've already read that one. Alrighty. I got your padlocks. Logan Humboldt, what can I do for you? Found your father's padlocks. Thank you so much. You didn't run to my grandmother by any chance, did you? Uh, what? No. Was she supposed to be there? No, that would be highly unusual if she, if she had been, since she died more than thir considering she died more than 30 years ago. Here's your padlocks. Marvelous. Once I've reaccustomed myself to staying on level ground, I'll be on my way. There's a big hobo camp near Ocean City you might be interested in. I can give you directions. Excellent. I think I'll head that way now. Perhaps I'll see you there. All right, treehouse. Can't do anything there. Bald cypress so ta tough and tall, it's no surprise some fellows chose to make it a tree home. Hello? Hey, mister, why don't you keep walking, huh? This is Will, Will Hunter's treehouse, and the rules is ain't no grown up, taint no grown ups allowed. Who are you? Will Hunter, I said. What's up there? I don't taint nothing, I swear. You don't want to see it anyways. I want to use the telescope. Afraid the telescope's property of Will Hunter, same as my licorice collection. Do you mean licorice? No, licorice. Wouldn't be licorice, because taint made of rice. It's called licorice because you lick it, but I'm saving my map so I can lick them all at once. How long have you been saving it? I reckon it's been a few months, so it's, it's okay to wait a few months on licorice as long as it's refrigerated good and proper. Have you refrigerated? It's in my pocket with some ice, so I reckon so. Can you let me up? Uh, no adult ever been in Will Hunter's treehouse tonight fixing to break that streak. Not for nothing. Alright. Potions. What's this do? Muscle. Unidentified chemicals that I've never found out what they do. Hmm. I know I had something that would double my moxie. Let's see, my miscellaneous. Moxie is six. Just a little more moxie would do it. All right. I don't. I want to use another potion or food unless I have to. 
You need to let me up. Is that so? What's in it for Will? You like meat, kid? Ain't need much money, mister. Got all I need from the river most days. Can catch enough fish to eat, and if there's any left over, I can use them as cash. Sixteen trout in my wallet right now. I want to use the telescope. Afraid that telescope? Oh, I heard that one. Okay, it looks like I gotta up my muscle. What are you doing in the swamp? Nothing special. Same things everybody gets up to, I reckon. I, I must know what that is. I ain't telling anyway. All right, so that was pointless. Muscle. I gotta get two more muscle. Good thing I got so many skull caps. Well, even I can only wear one at a time. I'm climbing up. Hey, now that you, it's you, enough of this. It's time to clasp, clasp your robust limbs around the chunk of this wet, shedding cypress and begin to shimmy. Hey now, this is a private treehouse. Stop or I'll tan you till you can't stand up. Why, there's no boy in this treehouse at all. One of the large and sagging features of a human face sunk into the tree's very trunk. Surely that can't be young Will Hunter. Ah oh well, reckon taint no keeping you from seeing my plight. I've been wicked, mister. What happened to you? Taint much to tell. That can't possibly be true. The sea shot the tree, great tree sighs, shredding scraps of bark that drift down the trio's floor. You ever heard of a doctor? You know what that is? I know what a doctor is. What do you want to... Uh, yes, well, I know what a doctor is. Heck, what do you want to be so mean for? I reckon most people you gotta go, you go and ask, they couldn't tell you one thing about what a doctor does. I only ever met one doctor, Dr. Wiss. He lived in the same street as my step-aunt. To his one morning, he paid me six bits to paint his fence, and well, heck, I swear I was fixing to do it, mister. But I heard there was an interesting trout down the river, a little wider than average, but not very wide, just the way Will Hunter likes. How can a boy resist? I agree. you got to go catch a slightly wide trout. Weren't going to catch it, mister. Only measure it for my notes on trout width. Anyway, Doc Wiss, he weren't real pleased to teach me a lesson. He cursed me to be a tree. How did the doctor turn you into a tree? Don't ask Will Hunter how. All I know is doctor's got all kinds of powerful tools. Tweezers, hat chart. Could have used anything. What are you supposed to learn from this? That I ought to paint fences if it says I'm fixing to. Can you end the curse? He told me I'd be a tree until I could make good by painting a bunch of fences. Hard enough for me to do that like this, let me tell you. I'll do it for you. Oh, mister, paint fences? You wouldn't want to do that. Sure I would. Wind picks up and snaps off a few weak twigs, but Will doesn't seem to mind. That's real swell. Thank you, mister. That doc who cursed me had a nice white picket fence, and he said something like, Will hunt or gotta paint three more fences like just like his, or he'll be a tree forever. Paint three fences. Got it. You can get my paints and brush out of my knapsack. I'd hand them to you, but I'm a tree. Is there a ladder you can put down? Suppose I can. Taint a ladder the way you and I know it, but part of this tree, as part of this tree, I can wiggle around. Uh, I were still a boy. I reckon you'd say it was like my fingers or nostrils. Will Hunter extends his large arborent fingers and or nostrils through the hole. You should be able to climb back down now. Take care of those, will you? That long-handled brush belonged to my grandfather. Your grandfather? I don't think so, or don't think so. I don't Oh, belong to a grandfather. Peek through. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Rivers run along the trunks of trees. Crawdads and crawmoms make love on the rocks. I'm pretty sure crawdads make love in the water. And, and a duck is impaled on the beak of a heron. Here in the swamp, it's a day like any other. That's boring. When you reach a certain age, a boy loses his enthusiasm for hoarding rocks in a treehouse. This is called the death of innocence. Climb down. All right. First things first, back to the dolphin house. I know it's not dolphin, I just don't care. Because there was a fence in need of painting. All right. Let us look around. Moonshiner Shack. Collect that juice. Oh, I thought there'd be a fence here. Oh, there we go. First, let's step inside. Old, an, a rusty old fire-powered still. You're pretty sure these aren't meant to be operated indoors. Full of ashes, but they're cold. Nobody's been here in a while. A couple of soggy bedrolls. Spare tire. The tread pattern on this tire identifies a Lincoln, which sounds impressive. Which sounds like an impressive piece of, of deduction, but honestly, the top hat and beard were a dead giveaway, which it does not have. Okay, whoever was here must have left in a hurry. Still a poker game in progress. You draw cards, you beat all the hands that were left on the table, then you collect the winnings. This pot has been donated from soup to chamber. Blech. 
Rotten stuff is crawling with worms, and the worms crawling within it. Chaotic mess of animal tracks. Hey, one of the matches to tread on the pattern of that stair, bare tire you found. Follow the duck tracks. You follow the duck tracks leads you to a lengthy sequence of locations that are zero interest to non-ducks. Horse tracks. Several sets of... Oh, here we go. You follow the horse tracks in water, but you don't drink it. I mean, why would you? It's nasty swamp water. Cow tracks. You follow the cow prints to a big hole in the ground next to which lie a pair of shoes with fake cow hooves nailed on them. Human footprints. You follow the human footprints. Call, uh, they lead to, let's call it, an improvised latrine a few yards from the cabin. You decline to investigate further. Cat tracks. After a few minutes, they lead to a tree you're not willing to climb. I guess for being honest, it's really a tree you're not capable of climbing. I was just trying to preserve your dignity. Badger tracks. Start following the badger tracks, but after a few minutes you realize this course of action might culminate in you encountering an actual badger, so you change your mind. Terrible animals. The absolute worst. Well, yeah, aren't they related to honey badgers? Tire tracks. Moonshiner's Cave. Somebody's old campsite. Amidst all the garbage strewn about, you find a shiny 7 eighths combination wrench with CW painted on the side. Charles Wallace. That's strange. It obviously belongs to Charles, but it doesn't seem like the kind of he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who'd lose his tools carelessly. No, the kind of guy who'd leave trash around his campsite. He looked around more carefully and discovered weird tracks in the mud. Big clawed bipedal tracks. Maybe Gator Man tracks. And there's a spot where some kind of scuffle clearly happened. Ah, oh, geez. Well, that tears it. Charles Wallace must have been kidnapped by Gator Men. Maybe he dropped the wrench on purpose to get your attention. Hopefully you can find him soon. No fishing. Must be referring to the deeper water over to the right. Oh, okay. I kind of thought with a special sign like that there'd be something unique here. But no, it appears to be like every other fishing spot in the game. No, I don't want to leave. I want to check out the cave. Close it. The Ford truck's been fitted with Lincoln tires. That's a little ominous. Hey there, moonshiners. How you doing? A couple of shady-looking characters. Ha. Ha. Huh. Hello. Yeah, they both have the same voice. What do you know? Who are you guys? We're the Schlitz brothers. I'm Clem, and I'm... Shut up, Clem. He might be a pro -y. There we go. I'm slightly different voices. Oh, I ain't Clem. And I ain't Jarvis. Relax, guys. I'm not a Prohibition agent. I'm just passing through. My name's Humboldt. Whew, that's a relief. Sure is. Good to meet you, Humboldt. What are you doing in this weird cave? Got ourselves in a right predicament. Or got ourselves in a right predicament is what we've done. What happened? Me and Jarvis have been brewing up some homemade hooch to sell, been stashed in the back of this here cave. We got wind the prohees were on our trail, so we figured we better cheese it. Pull the old 23 skidoo, you know? Uh, come back and... F oh, wait, that, that's a deeper voice one. Come back to find a pack of them mean lizard varmints into the hooch, and they won't give it back. We were thinking we'd take the loss and blow, but we... Loss and blow, but we hit another snag. What kind of snag? I went and locked the... I went and locked the keys in the trunk. Uh, what'd you do a fool thing like that for? Told you. Ain't like I went and did it on purpose or nothing. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I don't have a coat hanger. This part of the cave wall is shiny. Then what's the point of that? These gentlemen have gotten into the Schlitz brothers' stash of hooch. They're popping the bottle caps off their teeth, guzzling the contents, and having too much a good time to notice you. They growl at you menacingly, and we place the plainly two saws will just jump up and attack. On the other hand, if you get too clued near their booze, that could change in an instant. I'll mix them some drinks. Hey, you guys just drinking that stuff straight? <laughs> Drink booze. So? Well, cock cra cocktail crafting isn't my specific wheelhouse, but I know a couple of recipes. I can mix you up some drinks and go down smoother than that pure ethanol you're drinking. Tastes good? Mm, yes. Mixed drinks. Great. I think I have the ingredients here for one called a Mickey Finn. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Mickey Finn is old slang for a knockout drink. Dash of bitter, splash of orange juice, and a light dusting of soporific toadstool spores later, the gator men are snoring loudly on the floor. Wow, he's really out. All right, you grab a case since you're headed back anyway. Jarvis and Clem can haul the rest back themselves. All right, why is what's this? What's this part of the cave wall is shiny? I, I, I guess it's just a joke on the usual. Jarvis knows you, but he's played about. I dealt with the gators. You can get your hooch, at least what's left of it. You hand over the case you picked up. Well, heck, that's great news. Thanks, Villa. We'll get to load in the truck in a jiffy. Now I just gotta find a coat hanger. Oh well. I did not complete get this quest last time. I honestly think I checked the campsite and left forgetting about the cave. 
I can be kind of dense that way. <laughs> 